Question number three, Gareth Hughes. Uh, kia ora, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Climate Change Issues and asks, does he think the emissions trading scheme is working to incentivise low carbon choices? Mr. Speaker. Honourable Tim Grosser. Mr Speaker, I believe that New Zealand emissions trading scheme's fundamentals are extremely well designed, but its effectiveness depends entirely on the carbon price driving the adjustment process. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Gareth Hughes. What is the Minister's response to the Parliamentary Commissioner for the Environment who has said, quote, New Zealand's primary mechanism for reducing greenhouse gas emissions, the ETS, has been repeatedly weakened and the country's con emissions continue to rise? Uh, Mr. Honourable Speaker, Tim Grosser. Well, it goes to the heart of the point I've just made. It depends entirely on the carbon price. And when the international carbon price collapsed, which nobody saw coming, uh, the effectiveness of the ETS was radically reduced. We then took measures to close the window to the importation of units, and the current carbon price has rocketed from about 10 cents to, I think, between six and seven dollars uh, yesterday. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Gareth Hughes. Does the Minister think the ETS and the carbon price is working when New Zealand's consumption of coal, the dirtiest fossil fuel with some of the highest carbon emissions, has increased every single year for the last five years? Honourable Tim Grosser. Mr Speaker, well, Mr. Speaker I am in no position to uh, agree or not agree with those figures until I've seen data. All I would say is that in terms of uh, renewable electricity, it's been growing steadily in the past five years to over 80 per cent. And I would be actually rather surprised to find if we're using more coal in producing energy, I would expect the exact opposite. Point of order. Point of order, Gareth Hughes. Well, Mr Speaker, I seek leave to table data prepared by the Parliamentary Library based on the MB document Energy in New Zealand from 16 June 2015. Order, order if, on the basis that it's freely available from an MB document. If members want that information, they can go and get it. Oh, point of order, sir. No, I've ruled on that. Does the member have a further supplementary? Well, the Minister asked for it. Question. Supplementary. Oh, supplementary question, Gareth Hughes. Well, does he think the ETS and the country's carbon price is working when industrial consumption of coal is at its highest level currently since 2003. Uh, Honourable Tim Grosser. Mr Speaker, I don't have uh, the data on that. Um, what, what we're focusing on is leveraging the enormous strength of New Zealand's renewable energy. I'm extremely optimistic that if we take a longer term perspective, we'll be able to use that to engineer over the next 20 to 30 years a dramatic shift in other stationary energy. I think, uh, I think things are going in the right direction, but we just have to be very patient. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Gareth Hughes. Well, does the Minister still consider the ETS, ETS a success when a survey out last year found not a single forester believes the ETS drives new plantings, two-thirds of carbon traders believe the ETS does not help New Zealand to reduce its overall emissions, and two-thirds of emitters said that the ETS had caused no emission reductions in their company to date? Mr. The Speaker. Honourable Tim Grosser. Well, once again, we go back to the core point. Uh, the ETS is not driving adjustment because of low carbon prices, but the fundamentals are there. Uh, foresters, of course, would like to have an additional stream of income. The highest possible would be their best possible option. The trouble is that other New Zealanders in forms of households and, uh, and companies would pay for it. Uh, there is no such thing as a free lunch here. And, of course, uh, the vast majority of the 1.76 million, from memory, um, uh, plantation forest in New Zealand was planted before anyone had heard of carbon pricing. Supplementary question, David Seymour. Why are international carbon prices low? Mr. Honourable Speaker. Tim Grosser. Uh, a combination of a collapse in the global economy called the GFC, the biggest downturn in the world economy for 70 years, and um, an adequate response, I'm um, not blaming them, but an adequate response to the issuance of new units by the European Union, by far the dominant player in the market. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Gareth Hughes. When New Zealand has a lower percentage of renewable electricity generation than it did in 1980 or 1990, is he concerned the Renewables 2015 Global Status Report, published just this morning, ranks New Zealand 77th in the world for renewable energy policies? Uh, Honourable Tim Grosser. 
Mr Speaker, I'm aware of the old saying that every senator is entitled to her or his own statistics. The one that I um, follow is the simple one that says New Zealand, that New Zealand has over 80% of its electricity coming from renewable. I know there is huge potential to increase that proportion. We are aiming for 90 per cent, and the issue will be, is there going to be demand for electricity given the increasing um, energy efficiency of this country? Supplementary. Supplementary question, Gareth Hughes. With the Pope joining the chorus of leaders across the globe calling for urgent climate action, doesn't the Minister... Order. Th Order. Allow, allow the member, please, to continue with his question. Thank you, Mr Speaker. With the Pope joining the chorus of leaders across the globe calling for urgent climate action, doesn't the Minister think that National's track record of a 13 per cent increase in net emissions is becoming a worldwide embarrassment? The, 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 the Honourable Speaker. Tim Grosser. I'm receiving a great deal of informal advice to be very careful in how I respond to this question. I shall be watching the encyclical with great interest. <laughs> Question number four, Jonathan Young. 